Hey everyone, this is Alex USA Day. So let's talk about your first work experience as a QA engineer. We're at module 12. Um, this is going to be a shorter module, but we also getting closer to completion of the whole course. So what do you want to do when you start working in a new position, right? First, you want to learn the product. So begin by immersing yourself in understanding the product. Grasp its intended function because it's crucial to formulate effective test strategies based on that understanding. You also want to master the QA tools. So you want to learn tools and methodologies commonly used in your QA team. Avoid reinventing the wheel. Instead, observe and adapt established practices for bug reporting and data management used by your peers. Once you're comfortable at the new role, then you can start proposing enhancement. Number three is communication. QA is also communication bridge between development and product. QA is at the heart of making things better. So always be clear and helpful when you communicate with your team. Number four is expand your testing horizons. You should look beyond the obvious test cases. You want to embrace creative thinking to explore edge cases, boundary condition, and negative scenarios that others might overlook. And number five, prioritize with insight. So understand user expectations and business objectives to prioritize end-to-end -end test cases that align with high impact areas of the product. There will be the crucial areas you want to address first. Now, this is when you started a new job. What about getting QA experience? Nowadays, it's you know a little bit hard to find QA job without an experience. So everyone's asking, how many years of experience you have or any experience. So obviously having a certificate of a completion of some sort of a bootcamp program, that's gonna be helpful. Um, having a hands-on internship within the bootcamp program this is also helpful. But if not, if you don't have that, you're, you're fine. You can actually start as a QA engineer doing some freelance testing, some projects on the side. So I put a list of web pages you can go uh, register an account and start doing uh, testing on those web pages, either as a beta tester, crowd tester, working on some projects. Uh, there are several websites where QA can find testing jobs or projects. Uh, starting out, it might be beneficial to create profiles on multiple platforms to increase your chances of finding suitable projects. So don't just register on one. Start with uTest and move along the others open profiles there as well. Uh, your job right now is to get as much hands-on experience and understanding as possible, right? So it's also important to build a strong profile with relevant skills and experience and a portfolio of past projects if possible. So if there's no any disclosures that, you know, any limitations on disclosure of the projects, you will be working some of them. You can even add to your portfolio and showcase like during the interview and show, hey, I've been doing this and this and this work. All right, so let's go through those pages really quick. The first one is uTest. So uTest is the largest community of testers in the world. I started as a uTest tester. This is, was my first QA experience. Uh, and in uTest, you go through the sign-up process. You go through the task to get into the testing platform. Uh, why I really liked uTest, you will be working on all kinds of different projects based on the devices that you have. So you'll provide the list of the devices and based on those devices, they'll start sending you tests and tasks. Now, uh, what is also interesting about uTest, they have very comprehensive training on how to open bug, how to go through testing scenarios because they want to have everything standardized for their platform when you work with the product. So you kind of go through the process of learning how to test within the U test itself. And I think it's um, you know it's a very strong program. Even if you're not gonna get a lot of jobs from U test, just going through the sign up and going through their training is very, very uh, good for your QA experience. Uh, the second one is uh, testerwork.com. So you can sign up here for different testing projects similar to U test. Uh, the next one, test.io, become a tester. So you can join freelance community here, become a tester. And by the way, a lot of the testing jobs, right? 
uh, you will get paid by number of test cases you execute, by the test scenarios you're done. You'll get, uh, get paid by uh, projects completed. You'll get paid by bugs found. So you're not just training, you're actually uh, earning money with that as well. Uh, the next one is uh, test birds. Understand how to test with this platform. They do usability checks, uh, user acceptance testing. So you'll go through the list and check checklist to understand, okay, if the product's doing what it's expected to do. Uh, the next one is betatesting.com, a beta tester. So you can join the community to become beta tester. So when the product releases early, uh, they don't want to go and give it to the whole market, right? Because there might be issues with the servers. Too many users at the same time can cause problems. Uh, you, real users interact with the product different and everyone in the, is unique in their way how they can interact with the product. So for that reason, there's beta testing, right? So you can prevent and find the most problems with real users, but the amount of users is limited. So this platform is very good for signing up as a beta tester and testing products early on become, before they become global on the market. Then we got a uh, beta family. So you can start testing, sign up and start testing and also making money uh, with beta family. Uh, next one is usertesting.com. You can sign up with them, earn extra money online in your spare time. Learn how to share your perspective to help brands build better products and experiences. So you're testing and providing feedback uh, on the product. Uh, the next one is Destilo.com. So it's a global platform for freelance software testing, right? Flexible hours, 100% remote, global scale mobile app. So they're very, I mean, there's a lot of similarity through the platforms, right? The whole idea is just getting into the platform, platform gets orders from customers across the globe and you actually test them. The next one is uh, Playbook UX. Uh, you can actually test UI or not not test testing in the fuller context, uh, maybe a little bit more focused testing here. Uh, you can uh, test UI, test digital products and you can provide feedback and based on that feedback you can get paid and the last one uh this one is a kind of stands out because th that's overall a freelance platform this is not solely dedicated to testing but the platform is called upwork and i specifically typed in quality assurance in the search terms for upwork uh, and you can see their offers for testing they are different budgets different payouts uh the contracts might be short uh, sometimes a couple months, sometimes smaller than that. But still, it's money that you can earn and you can practice your testing skills. So AppWork would be like a freelance platform that offers all different sorts of jobs, including quality assurance. And uh, offers that you can see here, they might not be available anywhere else on like LinkedIn jobs or anywhere because those are solely for the purpose of freelance, uh, mostly like smaller projects that you can get involved in. Okay. So hopefully this was helpful. Uh, this was Alex USA Days. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.